Dr. Shika Square is the author of 21 Day Word Revolution. Stop living the life you hate and start living the life of your dreams and the affirmation, power, healing, and purpose. She is a professional empowerment speaker with over 10 years of experience in leadership, administration, and business. And she's back once again for our monthly discussion on life and how to take control of what you want as you discover your destiny. Well, Dr. Square, welcome back. Thank you. I'm always excited to be here. Well, I just love our monthly sessions. And, uh, you know, right here in the Sunday Journal Studios, special things happen. So Mm -hmm. how is everything going with you? Things are going really well. I'm excited about Essence Festival next week. I'm excited about some great goodies on the website. I'm just, it, things are going really well. It's hot, oh, yeah. but it's beautiful, so mm-hmm. no complaints. Yes, a lot of great things are happening, and of mm-hmm. course, Essence Coming is going to be a really strong week of empowerment, and that's exactly what you do. You bring yes. that to everyone every month, and last month, you were very transparent yes. about some major struggles that you worked through right. in your life, and mm-hmm. in one word, they were painful. They, it was painful. It was painful going through it, mm-hmm. and I think because I I had not gotten to a a bigger level. I wasn't strong enough at that time to necessarily face the things that I was going through. But once I let it shape me and really make me into a stronger, better, more in tuned person, then I mean, some of the same same stuff could be happening now, but I'm different. Um, so it's not even the same reaction to it. Well, you said something very powerful that makes a difference in mm-hmm. how any situation turns out mm-hmm. because of how we approach it. And so you really brought to mind the focus of what happens. You said when life gives you great challenges mm-hmm. before you realize how those challenges are actually making you great. Yes. And so sometimes when you're in it, If you're not equipped to really deal with things, and that's a lot of what I help people with, is becoming more equipped for the life that they want. I don't tell you what life you should want. I don't make you want a certain life. You bring to me what it is that you aspire to have, and I help you become more equipped to deal with what it takes to get to that point. And so life has a way of ensuring that the people you need around you are around you, the circumstances you need around you are around you, the experiences that you need are there to push you into your greatness, and you can either resist it and try to stop it from happening and live miserably or you could really face it and go through it and see the beauty on the other side and so what I chose was to stop living a life that used to make me cry that would cause anxiety that I lived in lack for a very long time and I I, I made a decision to actually live a life that I could be peaceful in that was I was listening to Oprah um the other day and she said people ask her what does success feel like and she said it feels peaceful and that that stood out so much because it's it is about the wealth people say it's not about them no it is it is you know it is Mm -hmm. about you know my house is really nice now my car is really nice now you know my presence online is really nice now However, with all of those things, what I feel more than I've ever felt in my life was is peace. Mm-hmm. When I wake up in the morning, I'm peaceful. I can pray. I sleep very well at night. Um, I can interact p- with people on a peaceful level. People literally come up to me and say, what are you doing? You're always so peaceful. And so to me, that's one of my biggest testimonies. I was walking, I was talking to a young lady today and she said, I talked to somebody else about you and All she had to say were you were so kind. And so sometimes these things are still so shocking to me that people, that's what they see on me. So I allowed, I made a decision to go through these things because I wanted to get to the other side. And I talk about, you know, the importance of going through these things and being equipped to handle the pressures and stresses of life. Because when you do, the life that is really intended for you is there. You can have the home that you want. I, I mean, there were years ago where I never thought that I would have a house uptown in the area that I live. Um, the car, remember we talked about the car mm-hmm. on Valentine's Day. I mm-hmm. had my other car for 12 years. Mm-hmm. And so after that last episode with the car, I made a decision. You know what? I'm not living my best life. It's time for me. 
time for, for me. Upgrade. It's time for me to live my best life. What is it? I literally like what what do I want? Right. And so that's what I got. So now I have you know, I have a really nice car. I have a really nice home. And so you can have the things that you want when you're ready to have them. And you allow your life and the lessons that come along with it to teach you and push you to the level where you need to be. And it does take a push and it life does. does do that. It does. Uh, the challenges are great. Uh, sometimes they seem unbearable, mm -hmm. uh, unbelievable, and you wonder how will I make it through. But you said a word as we were talking about people settling for mm -hmm. what they have and where they are without the energy and the power or even the purpose to pursue more. So sometimes I believe that people give up. Mm -hmm. And life gets really hard, and I can understand. I'm, I mean, when I first had my daughter, I remember going through postpartum depression and sitting in the bed just saying, okay, it's either going to be me dying or me changing. I'm not ready to die, so I got to change. Mm -hmm. And so I talk about that very openly because I realize I'm not the only one that's gone through that. And so looking around my life and I had this conversation with uh, someone on the phone the other day because I also do phone consultations um, I had the conversation on the phone and we started talking about settling and people assume that when they have a bad relationship that okay I'm just going to get in a new relationship but then the same circumstance repeats itself or as people will say I hate my job so I'm going to just get a new job and then a few months later they hate their job again when you settle, it is not just in one part of your life. Usually, if you have a habit of settling, it is across the board. It is in the relationships that you have. It is in your job. It is in your bank account. It is in where you live. It is in what you drive. It is in your friends. When I looked at my life, when I chose to be different, I realized that my friends weren't the types of friends that I needed around me. I realized that the boyfriends that I dated didn't support me. Family members were talking about me. And it came across in every area of my life. So when you decide to stop settling, people get confused. Well, I just wanted a new job. Why is all of this stuff around me falling apart? I don't get it. Because when you settle or you allow yourself to have one habit, it doesn't just show up in one place. And so when you choose to stop settling and become your best self, then you start to notice that a lot of things in your life need to move out the way and change. Well, everyone, you're listening to the words of wisdom and experience of Dr. Sheikah Square, and she is with us uh, sharing all that can happen in your life when you make a decision. And mm -hmm. really, Dr. Square, the power is inside of each person oh, to yeah. make that decision to do something different because it's been said what? That if you do the same thing, all the time, the same way, expecting a different result. That's insanity. That's insanity. So exactly. we don't want insanity to run our lives. We need to do something different and realize that is what it takes to get a different outcome. Mm -hmm. And so you even blogged and, and did a video uh, mm -hmm. a vlog about uh, the meaning behind your name. And, yeah. you know, uh, it was really interesting to hear that. And it reminded me that names have a very, very powerful meaning. And, you know, it made me think that a lot goes into when a person uh, chooses a name for a child and you can kind of identify what they were thinking about when they did that mm -hmm. and then you kind of wonder what were they thinking when they gave <laughs> some of those names. It's, some of those names. So, yeah. so, so it really is powerful though when you have a name and then you sort of fulfill and embody that. I think it's important I'm not even going to say I think I believe wholeheartedly that it's important to understand that no one is here as an accident. Your life may not be what you want it to be right now but you are not an accident your life is not an accident at any point you can make a decision and turn it around when I researched my name I found that my name meant royalty people might say that but literally you can look up my name in Arabic and it means royalty uh, the head of the family keeper of spiritual secrets and so it was very honoring to see that I have lived up to my name um, and so what I talked about on this video blog was that 
Sometimes you don't understand that your purpose is there and it's waiting for you and that your life that you you dream about when no one's around and that you really want is already laid out for you and waiting for you to make a decision to step in it. And so understanding that you are not a mistake, that things that's happened to you are not a mistake, that the fact that you settled was mental conditioning and you don't have to feel guilty about that because that also was not a mistake. Those experiences will teach you where you're going, then you can make a decision to really love and live the life that you want to live. And I talk about this a lot. I talk about it all the time. I talk about it in both books. Um, I talk about it on my website, www.drshikasquare.com. And I also talk about it in the online courses that we've started on the website. So it's really important to understand that you can make a decision at any time to not just tune out of the life that you hate because people will just settle. Like, I'm, I'm, this is the life I have. This is the best I could do. I need my money. I need my job. I'm miserable, but this is what I'm going to do. And you tune out of life. When you make a decision to tune in and really be present in your life, then you will have. It's not maybe. You will have everything that you've ever desired to have. And it's just yes. that simple. And so when you say, I will have what I say I want to have, one of my favorite affirmations, I wrote it, of course, it is. That's not why it's my favorite. It was my favorite, so I wrote it. Uh, something I tell myself all the time, even when I'm getting massages, even when I'm driving, when I'm headed to uh, an event, I am enough. Yes. It is one of the last, yes, you've seen it in 21 Day Word Revolution. I am enough. And understanding in every instance, even when you're stressed out, have anxiety, a relationship is falling apart, your job is not appreciating, your family member is talking about you, understanding that those circumstances are external and you are enough for whatever it is that you desire to have in this life, then you will also move in that feeling of being enough and have everything that you want to have.